Hey guys, welcome to another lesson. Uh, this should be a pretty fun lesson where we're going to be uh, taking the sitemap that we created in the last lesson and converting that into an actual HTML format uh, using uh, Dreamweaver. And then we're going to be uploading that to a server I have set up using FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. So you'll want to open up lesson 13 and you'll want to watch this lesson first on what is FTP just to get an understanding of how all this works and then the video will be right here so it's kind of meta you'll be watching this video where this is. Uh, I have all the instructions written out here so I'm just going to be going through those steps with you one by one uh, so you can see it actually done in action. So the first part of this lesson is opening up Dreamweaver so you'll want to do that first. And depending on which version of Dreamweaver you have, um, or depending on if you've used it or not, you might see a slightly different screen than what I'm showing. Um, but eventually what you'll want to do is get to the Files palette. So you can get to that by going to Window, then choosing Files. And you'll probably see something like this. What you'll want to do is click on Manage Sites, and this is a way that Dreamweaver allows us to basically have multiple sites uh, that we can switch back and forth between and each one of them having their own FTP connection. It just saves a lot of time in the long run. So you'll click new site and we're going to call this CYOA for choose your own adventure. And then where it says local site folder, you're going to click this folder icon and you're going to choose where your folder is. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new one. Let's call this CYOA1 since I already created it. And I'm just going to click Choose. And this is where our project is going to live on the local computer hard drive. Next, we need to set up the server. So we're going to connect directly to the server I have set up using an FTP account. So that information is all stored right here. So. Uh, we so what I did was I clicked new site and then server name we'll just call this John teaches you can really call it whatever you want connection stat uh, connection or sorry connect using we're just going to choose FTP and then for the FTP address we're just going to connect this John teaches port 21 username you're going to use student at John and then for the password You'll use John's student. And root directory, uh, you can just leave this blank. And I'm going to click test. And it was successful. If it was not successful, one of the most common issues people have when copying and pasting is they'll leave a space here. Uh, or they'll just, if they type it manually, they'll mistype it. So just make sure there's no extra spaces that you copied and pasted. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to click Save. Here it is. Click Save again. Here's my project. Click Done. And so here it is over here. So this is the local view. Right now the folder is completely empty, so there's not going to be anything there. I'm going to click Local View, switch to Remote Server, and it is going to show the server that we just connected to using the FTP. And you'll see I have this folder here called copy this folder and rename. Actually, I think I changed it in the instructions. Uh, copy, rename, download. So I'm going to actually rename that. Edit, rename, paste. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to, just what it says, copy this, rename it, and then download it to your computer. So I've created my own version right here. Uh, where I'm using the naming convention and have all the file structure. So um, I'm just going to delete this just so I can demonstrate. Okay, so I'm deleting that folder. All right, so you're going to right click on this, choose edit, and then duplicate. And it's done. Well, okay, so it's going to take a few seconds. Uh, 
Okay, and that should be the last of it. Okay, so here's the copy. So I'm going to rename this. So go to edit, rename. And the way I want you to type this is it's going to be your first initial, underscore, and then last name. Do not capitalize. Do not include any spaces. Do not put anything else. Just keep it lowercase and only use underscore. And inside of that, you'll see we've got the CYOA folder. The reason I did this is in case we have other projects, you can save it in your same folder. Um, and then inside of that, we've got index.html, which is going to be the starting point for your story. And also, index is the file that gets loaded by default in a file path. Um, so for instance, if I were to type in the site URL, in fact, I'll just demonstrate real quick. If I, well, here it is. So this is an example of my folder. You notice it's johnteaches.com slash students slash j underscore early slash cyoa slash and then nothing. And this, what we're seeing here is index.html. So if I were to write index.html, I would see the exact same thing. So the index just gets loaded by default. You don't have to type it. And then I have all the other choices inside of this folder called choices. And this is basically all the branching choices that we have. So just to demonstrate how this works, if I were to hover over choice 1A, you'll see right below at the very bottom of the screen, it says it has the entire file path. And the last one is choices slash 1A.html. So when I click on this, it takes me, you'll see this in the URL, to 1A. When I click 2A, I click that, it takes me to 2A.html. And I click 3a, takes me to 3a.html, and then when I click start over, it takes me back to the very beginning. And then, you know, if I click 1b, 1b.html, and you get the point. So those are all the files. So then now that I've made this copy, I'm going to download this copy that I renamed. So I'm selecting this, and I'm clicking the down arrow and it is now downloading this to my computer. Should I download dependent files? You can say no. All right, so there it goes. So now I'm gonna click remote server and switch that over to local view, and here's the folder I just downloaded. So I'm gonna open that, open that, and then double click on index.html. So the way I have mine set up, I've split the, the design in the code view vertically. If you want your screen to look like this, you'll go to view, and then view, um, you want to have split, and have it be code-design, and then split vertically. All right, um, the thing I like about Dreamweaver is all the stuff here corresponds with the code here, um, as well as the links. And there's lots of other helpful tools. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this and you're going to replace it with the first node of your story. So in the sitemap, when you created your story there and it kept branching, you're going to go to the very first part uh, where it says start here and you're going to copy that text and you're going to paste it here for index. So whether I paste it here or paste it here, it's going to show up the same. So I'll just be like, this is the, the Beginning of the story. You'll notice it updates the code here. I also have this little helpful hint here where it says paste your story here. You're going to put that here. Then the next part is you're going to replace these button names with your own choices. So you could say something like, do you want to turn left or right? And so this one, I'm going to replace this with turn left, and I'm going to replace this one with turn right. You'll see it updates the code here. We do not want to update this. This is linking to all those other HTML files we have set up. We also do not want to rename any of these files because if I rename this from 1a to left.html, for example, and this doesn't get updated to left.html, it is going to break the link and the link is not going to work anymore. Okay, so that is uh, index.html. So I just made the 
changes, you'll notice there's a little star next to the file name. So I'm going to just press Command S to save or go to File, Save, and that star disappears. So now my changes have been saved in Dreamweaver. I'm going to then go to all these other files, so start with 1A, and I'm going to replace the text for all these. So this 1A was turning left, so I'm going to say turn left, and then replace this and say you turned left. And then, at the, then I'm going to give him the next set of choices. So do you go up or down? And then I do the same thing. Go up go down. And again, I'm going to save it. So once I've gone through and replaced all the text for all these choices, the last thing I'm going to do is select this whole folder, or even this folder. I'm going to click the up arrow. And what that's going to do is it's going to upload um, the saved changes back to the server. So again, do I want to um, uh, include dependent files, I'm going to say no. Now it's uploaded, uploading all that. So now if I go back to the browser and for mine, I'm just going to go back to one, that, you'll see it updated my changes. So this is the beginning of the story. Do you want to go left or right? And then when I click left, it says turn left, you turned left, go up or down, and then so forth. All right. So yours should be like that, and it should just have your name here instead of my name. Um, if you're not seeing your changes, just double check that you saved it, double check that you uploaded it, and then you can always just click the refresh button. Sometimes it doesn't always save the changes. If that doesn't work, in Chrome using Mac, press Command Shift R, and that's going to hard refresh, which means it's going to get rid of any cached uh, version of the site. Now that's all I'm requiring for this part. If you want to go ahead and replace the image, like if this was way too easy, uh, what you'll do is replace this image right here. Um, and so you're basically going to have to go on the web and in the next lesson I'll show you some resources where you can find uh, stock photos or you can just do Google image searches and you can either link remotely like I'm doing here, or you can download it to uh, your folder and then upload those images along with it. Uh, but I'll cover all that in the next lesson. So I hope this was helpful and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the process. And lastly, what you'll do is just copy this URL of your site and you're going to paste it into the assignment for your homework.